people are dying from this epidemic of vaping, and we don't know what's necessarily causing it. Uh, and we're paying a lot of attention to it now because of the deaths, because of the severe lung illnesses, which are concerning. We have a generation now of individuals who are less than 30 years of age who have chronic lung disease because of this, because of whatever is causing this problem. So I think people are appropriately concerned. How do we not create another public health catastrophe by getting an entire generation hooked on nicotine and potentially gateway products for conventional cigarettes while trying to help out an older demographic who's at risk for lung cancer, who's at risk for heart disease? It's really, it's a, it's a delicate balance. I think we haven't talked enough about marijuana and the fact that THC products have been laced into these vaping liquids. 80% um, of cases revolve around this potential toxic combination of a cannabinoid with flavored e-cigarette pods. And that combination, when heated, who knows what that is doing to lung tissue. So there's things that we can do that don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, that allow us to have vaping of non-flavored, tobacco-flavored e-cigarettes as potentially an adjunct for the right demographic, while making sure American society overall is safe. We need stronger federal oversight over the vaping industry, over marijuana products. Right now, it, it, it's astonishing. But right now, any vaping product that is currently on the market has not been reviewed by our federal authorities for health or safety impacts. And so from my perspective, if 80% of these cases of vaping-related deaths and illnesses are because of pod, pods that are smoked that are laced with a cannabinoid, and we have created that environment because we have all these regulatory gaps. Let's eliminate those gaps. Let's regulate marijuana at the federal level. Let's get our federal resources at play. And then also, let's regulate any vaping cartridge, any vaping device that's already on the market for health and safety impacts. And then provide some degree of nuance here because every, to everybody in public health, or to every person in America, rather, everybody has a different prescription for what is best for them. It's called precision public health. And here we're trying to cast a broad wand here about what is right, what is wrong for everyone. And that's just not going to work.